Welcome to the preview of Veeam Service Provider Console version 7. And I've just installed this today and I am seeing really cool feature functionality already. And one of those very cool features that I want to show you is the ability now for a service provider to be able to add in a VB365 deployment into the service provider console and allow management and creation of backup jobs for tenants that consume Veeam Backup for Microsoft 365 as their data protection solution. So I'm excited to show that to you with very basic configuration at this point. And so what I want to show you is that what you can see without looking at anything else at this point, right? Notice that it's going to tell you, hey, are there any product updates over here for any of the products that you have attached to and configured to uh, be able to present and just report information back to the service provider console? The first thing that you'll see is it tells me that my Veeam Backup for Microsoft 365 instance is up to date. That's very cool, right? Next thing is if I scroll down just a little bit here, you can tell me that there is uh, my Veeam backup for Microsoft 365 little area here, and then I've got a proxy that's healthy and a repository that's healthy, but I've got a backup server that seems to have a yellow exclamation point here. Well, here's the next cool thing that you can do. You can click on this, and when you click on this, it's gonna immediately take you over to active alarms, and it shows you that there's a warning because this instance of Veeam backup for Microsoft 365 has exceeded its server license. I can click on this and it'll tell me that the license consumption has been exceeded uh, and that I'll need to provide uh, a better license key, basically. I can click on the warning message here and it's just gonna tell me also that I've exceeded that threshold by 70%. Wow, okay, great. So here's the next thing. I can resolve this, okay, and I can click on resolve and that alarm will go away and that's all fine and dandy. Now, I can go to Backup Jobs, and when I go to Backup Jobs, one of the new things that's up here is Microsoft 365 Objects. Now notice that it's gonna show me Backup Jobs on my VB365 deployment. Well, that's super cool. I can see that I've got a couple of different sample backup jobs here. I can see what server they're running on. I can see whether they're a backup or a backup copy job, the last time, all the things that you would expect to be able to see I can click on the warning and it's gonna tell me that there were some objects that were processed with the warning for this particular job. Uh, very, very cool things. Now, here's the coolest part. I can create a job and I can create a backup job and I can give it a name. Let's just call it demo, uh, Sunati Exchange. So this is gonna be a exchange backup for the Sunati tenant. Okay, so I can click on next, and the next thing it's gonna do is give me the ability to select an organization. You can see that in my VB365 instance, I've got two different organizations available to choose from here, and I could search. There was a large number of organizations, so I'll select the Sunati organization and click on apply, and then I'll click next. And now it's gonna ask me, and we're, we're similar to this workflow if we're familiar with VB365. So we're never gonna choose entire organization, right? But we're always gonna say back up the specified objects and now we can configure. And when we configure, we can decide what is it that we're looking to protect. So I can browse here and when I browse, it can show me all of my users, right? We can see all those. I don't really wanna do that. I wanna select current organization and I'm gonna add you can see that it added it down here. Now, much like we go back and we select the organization and then we click edit, well, I can select the organization right here and I can edit my processing options and I can deselect all of the things except for my mail and archive mailboxes and I can say okay. And now I can click on apply. And if I wanted there to be any exclusions, I would have an opportunity to specify that here uh, maybe I wanted to come in and exclude something in particular. I'm going to leave this alone for now and I'm going to click next. I'm going to select the backup repository. I'm going to use the VB365 version 7, which is an object backed repository. And I'm going to click OK or apply, excuse me. 
and then I'll click next again, run this job automatically, and click on next again, and finally I'm gonna start this job, and I'm gonna click finish. Guys, we just created a backup job for VB365 using the Veeam Service Provider Console. You're seeing this hopefully and maybe for the first time ever, and this has been such a requested feature that is so cool to be able to see. So that's all I've got. Just wanted to share that with you. Part of the new beta is the ability to allow the Service Provider Console to manage jobs in VB365. Now, here's what we can see. Here's my demo job. We can see that it's got a status of running, right? Very, very, very cool things. So that's all I got. I can come back up here to overview and we can see now that because I cleared that alarm that everything down here looks fat and happy. And um, we can look at job states, okay? We can see all of these types of things. And uh, I just think that this is very, very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Protected data summary. The protected data is gonna look at this. It's gonna show me virtual machines and file shares and servers and workstations for VBR. We've got Cloud Connect in here. We've got VB365 in here. I mean, man, let me tell you, very, very, very cool things. Okay.